And we have breaking Boeing news. A new report expected today harshly criticizes the FAA's review of the safety system on the Boeing 737 MAX. Kyra 7's Runji Sinha is live for us in Renton, where the MAX is built. And Runji, throughout the morning, you've been reading through this scathing report. Yeah, Michelle, the New York Times and other media outlets actually got a copy of this report early. It was put together by safety experts from around the world taking part in what's called the Joint Authorities Technical Review. And they all looked at safety issues and concerns regarding the certification of this jet, the 737 MAX. Those Safety experts are now done with the report, and it is expected to criticize the FAA's review of the safety system on this jet known as MCAS. It's being blamed by some investigators for two deadly crashes, one in Indonesia, the other in Ethiopia. The report also expected to say Boeing failed to explain the new automated flight maneuvering system on this jet to the FAA. The report says information and talk about the system was not organized, did not go to the right people. Nobody had a really good picture of what MCAS could have done. And the Renton built jet has been grounded worldwide since March. Because of that, a software fix is in the works. But CBS News reports it is highly unlikely the FAA will certify that fix for November for this jet. So we may not see the 737 MAX flying again until early next year. We're live in Renton. Let's throw it back to you, Michelle.